हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू सोशल स्टडीज क्लास माय नेम इज अभिषेक प्रताप सिंह एंड आई एम फीलिंग वेरी गुड टुडे एंड आई होप यू टू फीलिंग गुड सो स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर न्यू लेसन व्हिच इज द चैप्टर नंबर 7 ऑफ आवर टेक्स्ट बुक दैट इज द कोस्टल प्लेन्स एंड आइलैंड्स सो लेट्स ब्रेक डाउन दिस नेम टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट व्हाट वी नीड टू हैव इन दिस लेसन व्हाट वी नीड टू रीड इन दिस लेसन So if I talk about the coastal plains, so now what is a coastal area? Like what is coastal? So the word coastal means the land which is close or near to sea. So which is very uh, we will we will talk about the land which is very close or near to the sea area, right? Which is touching almost sea. It has a boundary with sea. And then the island. I I hope that all of you know about the island that is a piece of uh, land surrounded by water from its all sides. Okay, so when we talk about the coastal plains and the islands, then we are going to talk about these uh, two main parts, which is western part and eastern part. Students, as we have just learned in our last lesson, that our peninsula part of the India is mainly covered with a southern plateau, and the southern plateau are bordered by these two parts, which is western part and eastern parts. So, students, let's move on to our book pages. to uh, understand this in a more better way so students let's start the lesson let's start reading that what is there in our textbook so as you can see the chapter number 7 name is the coastal plains and the islands okay so let's look at what we need to have in this lesson so we will talk about the uh, western part and the eastern sorry western and the eastern coastal plains as i have already told you and then andaman nicobar andaman and nicobar islands and lakshadweep islands Okay, so these two points which we are going to uh, read about in detail. Okay, we will talk about these coastal plains, eastern and western, and then uh, about these two islands, that is, Andaman and Nicobar Island and Lakshadweep Island. All right, students. So let's uh, read that what is given there in this oil box, which is mind opener. How many of you have seen C? Okay, this is the first question. Did you like it? Second question. And did you play in that in the water? Third question. What did you like most about the C? Fourth question. Again. Take your time. Pause the video here only. Think about all the questions. Generate the idea. Okay. Have those ideas and then move forward. So, students, let's start reading that what is given there. So, as you have seen in the earlier ch chapter, the southern plateau covers most of the Indian Peninsula. As we know that the Indian Peninsula is covered by the southern plateau. Okay. And we read about that southern plateau is divided further into the, the central highlands and uh, the deccan plateau. Okay. So, uh, the plateau is surrounded by the uh, narrow coastal plains okay as we just discussed that it is surrounded by the two coastal plains that is the western coastal plain and the eastern coastal plains okay there are two coastal plains on the west between the west parts and the arabian sea is the western coastal plains and on the east side the eastern parts and the bay of bengal is the eastern coastal plain now students with the help of the map with the, with the help of the map of india And it's the peninsula, a peninsula region. We need to understand its location and the other points of location which is present there. And okay, we need to see that where are these seas and different islands are located. So now, students, as you can see that behind me there is a map of uh, India and this is the southern part of India. Okay, and this is the peninsula region. So India, coastal plains and islands. Okay, so we have we need to have an idea of all these coastal plains of India and the islands. So, if I talk about the this western coastal plain, so it is here on this side, okay, and you can see this greeny part is there, a very thin line is there. If you just pay attention or if you focus, and similarly, if you just pay attention here as well on the eastern side of India, so you can just find out that it is here, the west eastern coastal part is there. Okay, under that part there are so many coast, other coast like Gujarat coast, Konkan coast, okay, and here there is. A, Malabar coast, and after that there is a Coromandel coast, and different things are there. And if you look at this area on the western side, so here it is the Arabian Sea, and on the east side of this there is a uh, Bay of Bengal. And like when we, <coughs> so students, this is whole, this is all about the uh, locations of these two parts, these two coastal plains. Okay, so let's start reading about these coastal plains so that we can know more about them. Let's start reading. So these plains meet at Kanyakumari, the southernmost tip of the peninsula. Okay, so at the southernmost tip of the Indian Peninsula, there is a place called Kanyakumari, and there are 
So there are also many islands in the Bay of Bengal and the Arabian Sea, like Andaman, Nicobar Islands, and the Lashwadip Islands. Okay, so we will talk about these islands afterwards. But now we have to just focus on the uh, both coastal plains. So India has extremely long coastline. This is a great advantage for India as it can use ships to transport large quantities of goods into and out of the country. Okay, so now our country has a large advantage or a good advantage that uh, we have a long coastal areas. Okay, and both sides on the east and west side. And because of this, we can just uh, ship or we can just supply goods in good quantities into and out of the country. All right, students. Now ships are loaded and unloaded at ports. So ships are like get loaded and they get unloaded at the ports area only. There are number of ports along the coast in India, and we have number of ports means we have so many options as a ports. Now some of these are Mumbai, Kandla, Kochi, and Panaji on the west coast. Kolkata, Puducherry, sorry, Puducherry and Chennai on the eastern coast. All right. The long coastline also encourages fishing, and because of its long coastline, the because of its long length, we we are able to you know just have a good fishing thing. Uh, fishing is an important occupation of the people living in the coastal areas, and because of that, it is possible for the people of who are living in the coastal areas, they can have this as a as a occupation. Okay, a lot of people are earning and uh, having their uh, money, or they just have a source of income because of fishing. Uh, let's see about the western coastal plains on the west, uh, between the western heart and the Arabian Sea, as I have just made you look in, on the map. So, uh, is the western coastal plain. It begins from Gujarat in the north and passes through Maharashtra, Goa, Karnataka, and Kerala. It is divided into three main parts. Those parts are the Gujarat coast, Konkan coast, and the Malabar coast. In the south from Goa to Kanyakumari, it is the last point or the southernmost point of the peninsula. All right, students. So after reading about the western coastal plains, let's read about the eastern coastal plain. So on the east, uh, between the eastern part and the Bay of Bengal, is the eastern coastal plains, and it begins from the West Bengal in the north and passes through Odisha, Andhra Pradesh, and Tamil Nadu. The eastern coastal plains are wider than the western coastal plains. So if we talk about the width of the both plains, so we will find that. Uh, eastern coastal plains are wider than western coastal plains. Another part of the eastern coastal plain is called Northern Sarkar, and the southern part is called the Coromandel Coast. Okay, so if you talk about its northern part, that is the Northern Sarkar, and the southern part is the Coromandel Coast. So student, this is all for today's video. We will uh, cover next part in our next video. So till that time, please keep on watching the videos and keep on learning. And after watching this video, please do not forget to comment your name, class and section for attendance. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.